pack your bags and come fly with us. Welcome to Virtual Live After Five. I'm Eddie P. We are here in Town Square, so excited. But before we begin our show, let me share something with you real quick. The Anchorage Downtown Partnership, Alaska Airlines, and the Atwood Foundation would like to honor and recognize the Denina people on whose land Anchorage sits. With that being said, thank you to Alaska Airlines, the Atwood Foundation, KTVA and KMBA, and Anchorage Downtown Partnership for bringing us this free program. I'm so excited about it, and today we have my wonderful, beautiful friend with the angelic voice, Emma Hill. Hi, Emma. Hi, Eddie. How Good you doing? You. Good to I'm see you. Okay. Well, I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to turn the show over to Emma Hill. Thanks, Emma. <laughs> Hello out there. I'm gonna say we need you for a little bit. This is a song about gratitude. Take two steps back if you meet me in the middle. Come to terms with the fact that you love me just a little. Spend the summer being lonely together. Cause even inside our company is better. Drink and we cry till we both near ground. Now I know it's time to go far down. Don't say you think you know I'm better. Thanks. Well, I'm going to warm up a little bit with an older one of mine. Um, this is a very Alaskan song, a song that is just basically talking about how much I love this fine state that we get to call home. It's actually a song talking about how much I love getting to come home after a long stretch out on tour. I love being out on tour, and I love seeing this beautiful world, but I really love getting to come home. And uh, this is named after our great mountain, Denali. That whole area up there is a very inspiring place to me. It's somewhere I go again and again to ride and to heal and to kind of just refill my soul. <laughs>
This next song is one of my, probably my shortest song I've ever written, but it's a short song that um, is supposed to pack a bit of a punch. This is a song that is, um, that is, uh, it's basically talking about losing someone to addiction, which is something I think that in our society we tend to have a bit of shame about talking about, but I think it's very important. It's part of mental illness, and it's a, it's a huge, it's a huge problem in our society, and it's very, very heartbreaking if you've ever gone through it. So this is dedicated to anyone who ever has. And uh, it's a song called, Am I Talking to You? Hey, here I am. I've been up since 6 a.m. Worrying again, they are you. Now you're brushing your teeth. When was the last time you had something? talking to you? Am I talking to me? How much hurt must we both feel? But we heal and we're both free. Am I talking to you? Am I talking to me? We're all alone in these days. It seems that's how you'd like to be. so slowly they seem frozen in their flight and the glow gives way to shadow as they settle into night mountains all to climb in shadowed glory shadowed sights now they're just a thin black line between me So that's a brand new song. It's actually part of my upcoming project that I'm working on right now. I was lucky enough to receive a Rasmussen 
um, grant so that I could focus on this project. It's called Park Songs, and I spent the last winter traveling around the lower 48, visiting as many national parks as I could, and gaining in just inspiration there, writing down little notes, writing poems, writing essays, and of course, writing songs. And so that's, um, yeah, that's a, a song that's coming out of that project, and I, I've never really played it for very many people before, but I'm really excited about that one. It was one I wrote in a Big Bend National Park in Texas. Um, let's see, what am I going to play next? I think I'm going to move on to some stuff up on the second fret. I am going to do another uh, song from that trip, but this one is not actually from the park songs. This is just a sweet love song I wrote for my sweetie. Um, I did learn a lot of life lessons as part of that trip outside of just the natural beauty and inspiration. And one of those things was to be better at being able to go with the flow <laughs> and not freak out about plans changing. I'm still working on that. Um, but this song was inspired by, we got to Nashville to see a good, some good friends of ours. And it was a wonderful time, but they were having this crazy early cold spell. And I was so disappointed. I had it in my head that once we hit the south, there was going to be some warm weather waiting for us. And I mentioned it to Spencer, and he said, you know, the whole point of this trip is if we get somewhere and it's not quite what we thought it was or what we wanted it to be, we load up back in the truck and we go where we want. And so after a really lovely visit with our friends, we packed up, and he drove me overnight all the way to Florida so I could put my feet in the sand. And that's true love for you right there, guys. And uh, this song is just talking about that wonder. Um, it's called I Could Almost Cry. Still asleep Our friends can't cradle that your feet Speak to words so soft, so sweet I'm afraid to blame I used to feel I'm singing lots of new songs today. New songs inspire me. They keep me, they keep me in touch with my creative side. And 
that there's always more to learn, always more to think about, always more to feel. And this is a song for uh, a number of friends in my life, but for one in particular that sparked it. And she uh, she feels deeply, and I'm, I'm in awe of her. And uh, she was having a rough time, and I just wanted to write this kind of, this song to remind her that, you know, things things are gonna be okay. And I'm happy to report she's doing, she's doing quite well. I'm very proud of her. But if you're out there and you're struggling, this is a song for you. It's called See Like I Do. You better get your back and your shoulders. What they're gonna say now that you're older. It's so hard not to be so sad. song feels like it's it's hitting a little too hard on the nose right now, but um, usually when that happens, it's probably a sign that it's needed. I wrote this song last summer, actually. It's a song called The World Is On Fire. It's on my newest EP that came out in January. And I was frustrated last summer with the way of the world. I was, I was seeing lots of discrimination. I was seeing uh, some terrible things happening here in our beautiful state as far as budget cuts and not taking care of our most vulnerable, and also our entire state was on fire, and a bunch of the other wor uh, parts of the world were as well. And so this is what, that's what was inspiring this song. Little did I know there was more to come. But again, uh, as dark as this song may sound, the end of it is a, is a little glimmer of hope, and that's the part that you're supposed to be reminded that that's what we cling to.
Thank you, thank you. Hello everyone, it's Virtual Live After Five. We're here with Emma Hill. You are so amazing. So very talented, beautiful voice. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I know you are. But Virtual Live After Five is brought to you by Alaska Airlines, the Atwood Foundation, and of course our friends here at Anchorage Downtown Partnership, and KTVA Channel 11 and KMBA. So they're all sharing, it's all good. I'm so excited. And I, I, you know, I did some research because I didn't talk very much about the Atwood Foundation, but now I know a little bit more. And this is what I found out. The Atwood Foundation, excuse me, the Atwood Foundation was established for the benefit of the people of Anchorage, Alaska, and vicinity, particularly the young people, see? Through assisting financially in the initiation, completion, and maintenance of nonprofit organizations of the fine arts, journalism, history, and other civic enterprises. Isn't that amazing? And see, what, the reason why I bring it up is because all these entities are doing the same thing. They're all part of a growing Anchorage in the arts. Hi! All right, back to Emma Hill. Thank you. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. So I mentioned the new EP that came out in January, and this is another song off of there. And this was um, this has a longer story, but I'm going to tell the short version of it. And um, this is a song I actually wrote. It's a prompt song that I wrote as part of my homework the last time I was on one of my favorite local series, Parlor in the Round. And Parlor in the Round is this wonderful, wonderful uh, songwriter in the round, a bit of improv, a bit of comedy, a dinner theater, the whole thing all combined with, with three songwriters sharing the stage. And uh, we have to do some homework to get ready for it. And sometimes that involves getting um, given a prompt. And we all get given the same prompt. So the pressure's kind of on to, to see where each artist is going to take that. And for me, um, it was kind of extra pressure because the, the one that this was for, I was, I was on stage, which was very fun, but it was also very exciting and nerve-wracking to be on stage with Joan Osborne and uh, Matt the Electrician, two of my favorite songwriters, performers. And so this is the song that I wrote for, uh, for that. And it's a song called Early to Bed. And it's fun when songs that are kind of just these side, side projects or you know something for one specific thing end up actually capturing your heart and uh, it made it onto the EP. So it's called Early to Bed. You can drink to dumb down the din, noise inside your head. One shame will sneak up on you. Is what you made of sin. Lonely is a special kind of sin. You're only running from yourself. Make excuses for your absence. Saying you were early to bed. TV's turn to some happy stuff. Sweat straight through the sheet. And boxes full and the phones off the hook. Reminding yourself to read. Lonely is a special kind of sin. You're only running from yourself. Make excuses for your. 
older song. Well, not that old, but older compared to a lot of these ones. Um, it's a song off my Magnesium Dreams album. And it's called Heart on Fire. It's a song I, I wrote. It was inspired by a really great rock and roll show that my big brother took me to in San Francisco. And it's not a rock and roll song, because, you know, I'm a folkster through and through. But it's inspired by that energy and all the lights and the platform shoes and the costume changes. Um, but I, uh, you know, I think there's a little part of me that wishes I got to do costume changes. Trace it all back to the time to cry beneath the covers and you said you couldn't feel a thing. I thought if I could cast a spell on you, we both could fly away. But instead you clip my wings. It's not. On the goals were in, were in tune. Um, let's see. Uh, let's do do another very new one. This is my quarantine song. When we were all hunkered down, and uh, a friend and fan reached out to me, and he just sent a very nice email, and he said, you know, it's hard times for everybody. And I'm not sure if you're feeling creative, but I bet you're probably feeling a little scared, a little anxious, and a little in a slump. And uh, he said, I, I don't expect anything from this, but just in case you needed a little inspiration, he said, I'd love to hear what song comes out of the word tomorrow. And it was just, I think it was such a kind note, and just also just that he made it so simple. Um, but it actually urged me to, to write this song. And so I was thinking a lot about... Um, you know, I, I'm lucky. I have a, a partner, and he and I were hunkered down together. Um, but I know there were a lot of folks that were hunkered down all by themselves, and I can't even imagine that. And uh, I basically was thinking about all the wonderful people in my life, and just in this community that I love so much that I was excited to be reunited with later. And uh, I still feel that way. I know that there's a little bit more freedom now. We're so lucky to live in Alaska and be able to be outside and enjoy this 
natural beauty, of course, with social distance and our masks and being safe. But uh, I'm still very much looking forward to uh, some large gatherings of joy and music when it's safe to do so. <coughs> this one's called Tomorrow. another song off the new EP. Make sure my guitar is in tune. This is a song about forgiveness, and most importantly, forgiving yourself. I think it's very important to remember as we, as we live and as we learn that a lot of that learning comes from making mistakes. And it's not the easy part, you know, and oftentimes it's the hardest part. It's never fun to make mistakes, but it is how we grow. And that's what this song is about. It's about um, recognizing that and, and forgiving yourself for past mistakes. It's called, How Could I Have Been So Wrong?
do two more songs for you guys. This next one I realized, wait, I did have a song planned that's supposed to cheer me up. This is one of the sappiest love songs I've ever written. It's also very new. And it was another quarantine song. And it was just, um, you know, it's me trying to cheer myself up and remind myself that gratitude is never more important than in times of darkness. And it can be real challenging to remind yourself. And sometimes it's just a real small thing that you can cling to. But whatever that is, it helps lift everything up with you, and, um, you know, I was sad, I was missing, I was like, I hated that I couldn't hug my mom, I still hate that I can't hug my mom, uh, all these things I was missing, I was, I was scared, I was anxious uh, for my loved ones, and then I was looking around, and in my beautiful house, and I was there, and I had um, just adopted these cute little Pomeranian mixes, there were these rescues, they're very old, <laughs> I kind of adopted two little senior citizen palms, and uh, they're wonderful, and they've added so much joy to my life. And then, of course, I've got my sweetie. And I looked around, I said, you know, we've got food on the table, and we're okay, our health is okay so far, everyone in our life, their health is okay. And um, I just reminded myself I had a whole lot to be grateful for, and definitely more so than so many others dealing with this. And so I wrote this song, and it's called um, We Are We. And yeah, it talks about my new little fur babies.
you so much. I hope you guys are all staying safe and, and as happy as you can be out there and spending time with loved ones in safe and distant ways. And, uh, you know, remember that we're all in this together. And I, I can't wait to, um, to see you guys again in, in person. I'm, I'm, very much missing, I'm very much missing playing live. But so thankful for these opportunities. I want to say a huge thank you to Anchorage Downtown Partnership for creating spaces for um, musicians to still connect with uh, our local audience. And uh, yeah, very thankful. Um, with all that said, there's a lot going on right now, and more so than just um, the fact that we're dealing with a global pandemic. I want to uh, share this last song as a song that is it's not supposed to be about me. It's not representing myself other than what I'm witnessing around me and the frustration that I see of just the inequality within our society. And the song is a, a result to um, the Black Lives Matter movement and how much I want to show my support for that as an ally. And um, it's an intense song and it just, um, it's kind of, I didn't think too much about it, I just wrote. And so I hope that, um, I hope that you continue to lift up the voices of people of color around you. I hope that we continue to fight for uh, social justice and remember that um, we're in this together and if we don't act that way, you know, they will silence us. And so uh, this is just my little piece of that. And uh, Black Lives Matter. Shattering out and it's just like that. Another life gone in two seconds flat. And yet you all would like to act surprised. For a hundred years with a knee on his back. Is that a gun, some random mass? But he was shot before anyone could answer. Get your phone, get your phone out. Get your phone, get your phone out.
It's virtual live after five, and guess what? It's always the worst part for me. We're all done. <laughs> you are so inspirational and fantastic. Thank you, Emma, for being here today. Emma Hill, everyone. Virtual Live After Five is brought to you by Alaska Airlines, the Atwood Foundation, KTVA Channel 11, and KNBA. Well, I have my friend here, Amanda, from Anchorage Downtown Partnership. So let's bring her on. Amanda? Thank you so much, Eddie P. And thank you so much, Emma. We are so grateful for your voice in our community. These are challenging times, and one way that we can really come together is to celebrate through the arts and through songs. And it's so important at this time more than ever to have local community artists come out and share their voice. So thank you. An important reminder to folks to make sure you do get your vote on. August 18th is our primary here in Alaska and November 3rd. And it's one of the most important things you can do. So make sure to celebrate all that we have by using that right to vote. And once again, Anchorage Downtown Partnership, we are committed to a clean, safe, and vital downtown. We are committed to clean streets, safe streets, and a vibrant, vital community in the downtown area. And it's more important than ever that we continue that work. And so we couldn't do it without the support of our sponsors like Alaska Airlines, Atwood Foundation, KTVA, and KNBA. So we're so grateful for their support. And we're grateful for musicians. And thank you to Eddie P for hosting us. And thank you for being here with us today. <laughs> You're so welcome, Amanda. So you know what? We, we're going to go. Sadly, but we'll be back to virtual live after five. See ya. <laughs>